Okay, so now I'm going to explain using an exercise book to illustrate how persist persistence of vision works. Um, basically, um, in this note, exercise note, I have actually um, drawn different frames on the different leaves. And um, usually, when we want to accomplish this in hardware, we get to display the different frames several for about 30 seconds. Then we get to advance the different frames, changing those different frames, and therefore giving us the effect of um, you know consistently our brains get to interpret it as changing number, um, removing um, objects. That's just how percent of vision works. And um, I'll just I've just done um, I've just drawn several frames on the leaves of these notes and I'm just going to just flip through so that we get to see exactly how it works. So I'm just going to do that now. So um, you can see that the car has fumes and is beginning to move across the screen. There it's moving slowly. I'm doing that slowly so that we can see it. You can see the car exiting the screen. That's just basically how it works. Now I'm going to do that very fast and you see how it works clearly. Okay. Yes, and we are out then in the end. So that's just basically how presence of vision works. All right, so um, we're going to be looking at the new term, multiplexing. We've seen presence of vision um, in the previous um, explanation I made. Multiplexing is um, actually a way of um, achieving presence of persistence of vision in hardware and I'm going to show you that I'm going to explain that in, in a couple of moments just um, I want to quickly explain um, some more about multiplexing multiplexing basically is um, multiplexing technique is a hardware technique that um, allows you to save some microcontroller pins um, usually your microcontroller pins like the Arduino Uno that um, we are using for this project is um, uh, has 20 input output pins so it, it's very limited though but uh, we're still going to use it that's actually what we're using and um, multiplexing is going to help us to save some pins but I just want to just show you some of the adva advantages of multiplexing before I go on to explain how it's related to persistence of vision okay um, this um, typically is a scenario where we are going to be using um, a Four digit seven segment unit. Um, the four digit segment units all have segments, like we can see segment one, segment two for this, um, segment one for digit one, segment two for digit two. That's what have um, S1 through S4 means. And um, for the, each of the different um, segment units, they all have their respective A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, uh, like so. And um, um, I'll just quickly tell you um, what it's going to be like if we were not using multiplexing. Now, assume we're not using multiplexing, um, this is the situation we'll be faced with. And we'll have um, an IC, our IC for our seven segment units will have so many IO pins. And I'm going to just show you in this small um, illustration. Okay, this is when we are not using multiplexing, um, it means we'll have A1, B1. C1 that's for segment one D1 E1 F1 G1 okay then decimal point one and we have um segment one now if you count them we have one two three four five six seven eight nine which means for for a segment unit like we have for S1 it means that we require nine nine pins and that's a lot and same thing um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the mapping for the rest of the um, for the rest of the segment pins for the other units. Uh, okay, for here we have A2, B2, C2. Have S4. Now the total number of pins we have used or we'll be using for a situation like this. It means we'll be using. 36 pins 
and that's a lot compared to the Arduino Uno. Like I've mentioned, the Arduino Uno is um, the Arduino Uno features only 20 pins, and this will not work with the Arduino Uno. So, there ought to be a better way, and that's what I'm going to show you. That's why I'm explaining multiplexing that um, multiplexing um, helps us to handle this particular problem, especially. Um, handling the number of pins and because we are using more pins it means that we are using more pins it means that we are going to be using more power more power that's just basically what it means so multiplexing actually saves us um, the number of pins we'll be using okay I'll just um, take out this other now this is a better um, this is how multiplexing um, saves us some microcontroller pins. Um, now, for these different segments, like we've seen, like we saw in the previous one, we see lesser pins now. I'm going to just walk you through some of the and show you exactly how it's going to work here. Multiplexing is going to be um, deployed in this particular scenario. So we have segment A, um, we have segment C pin, we have D, we have E. We have F, how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have G. Then for the decimal points, we have DP. Okay. Then also for the different segments, okay, for um, there are VCCs, okay, connected to um, connected to um, to VCC for okay, so we have S1. S2, we have S3, and we have S4. This is better. We have more pins saved. Now, instead of getting to use 36 pins like in the previous scenario, we get to use only 12, 12 pins. Okay? And this, for the Arduino Uno that uses um, 20 pins, the Arduino Uno has 20 pins this is this this works very well for the Arduino Uno okay so um, multiplexing is a way of implementing persistence of vision in hardware and um, persistence of vision technique actually like we've explained in the previous um, previously that it's using displaying frames severally and um, the human eye not being able to detect changes and sees it as continuous so um for example we want to display the numbers one three four and five on our segment units now for us to do that especially with this scenario the number one on segment one we get to display the number one on this particular segment on the first segment we display it for some time then we turn it off then we display the next um the next number three on the second segment for some time okay and we display the next number four on the third segment for some time as well and we turn it off and we display five on the fourth segment for some time now we will repeat this continuously for 25 to 30 times in a second the effect it leaves us is the display one three four and five, five. 